Hey everybody, it's Risley. We're playing Super Otter Pets. Let's give it a go. I have had decent luck so far on this blessing of a weekly. This is a beautiful start. Super health. Super health. If you get to the right unit, 50% chance of being cool. 50% chance is more than I could ever deserve, so I will gladly take that. Today will be some pink noses. My skin happens to be extremely pale, which means I bless quite easily. The problem being that if I go outside in the cold, I will get the pinkest of noses. You could call it Snow White. You could call it um, looking kind of like a cherry, especially because my, my hair is very lightly blonde. So in contrast, I kind of look like super pink and then like having blonde hair. Not my favorite. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Today we are the saddest and the cutest of pink noses. Um, a cookie? Who here is Santa Claus in disguise? Is it you, Snail? Is it Possum? Or is it a beaver? You know what? Conjoined beaver. There was no Santa Claus all along. Joke's on you guys, he's not real. No one told you that yet? I think it is so sad. Some people find joy in informing other people of the fact that Santa's not real. And you can understand if a child does it, because children like feel cool when they know things that other people don't. So they're like, I'm so mature. You're lacking maturity because you didn't know that my mom crushed my dreams a year ago and your mom hasn't crushed her dreams yet, so I get the responsibility to crush her dreams. At the lack of Santa Claus. Here you go. That's definitely something that I'm going to have to be doing a lot of research for, though, if I ever have kids. I have no idea at what age anything is supposed to happen, so I feel like I'm going to constantly just be googling, like, okay, they're two months old. When do they walk? At what age is it normal for them to not have Santa Claus anymore? At what age does the Tooth Fairy pass away and return to Neverland? Hmm? Is there like an agreed upon number or are we all just kind of like random assing it and hoping that no one spoils the fact? Double possum! I will wait next turn. We wait until turn five. Everyone say it with me. We wait in turn. We wait until... Turn five. I can only assume people didn't say with me right there because I messed it up halfway, had to repeat it, so you guys probably kept going and now I'm embarrassed because I'm like, dang, now I was out of the loop. No. Well, well, that dog was a bit thick. I don't think we were going to make it through there anyway. Methinks we need a scales. Mmm, that's not a scales, but it is something that does something, so let's give it a try. And by it does something, I mean, eh, it could be said that the porcupine um, dies in one hit without using its ability 98% um, of the time, I would say. Hey, it used it once. Because every time it either dies in one hit, so it doesn't use it, or it kills the other guy in one hit, or it has a melon and doesn't actually take damage and therefore doesn't use its ability. It's a real stinker. We are not doing hot. You could argue that it's because I've been talking about things unrelated to the game. You could also argue, but that's kind of fun though, so like, why are you gonna judge me about it? I like you, but I never use you, because it's difficult for me to want to take the things that make trumpets at the beginning of the game, because they're so stanky. Until you get to the end, and you get that one guy who can summon a 24-24. That's hardcore, my guy. Meaty crab? A crab with big meaty claws, you say? Hey! You were supposed to survive until past that ladybug. My peacock obviously did not get the memo. Try again? We could double scale if you leave and we do this. Look, double scaling. Am I cool yet? Am I cool, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? The problem obviously being that I don't want- I don't care at all about this man. So this one's the only one who's like being useful at all by doing this. And I'll say you need this more. Yeah, you can have this more. Peacock, you're out of here. Awesome, you're out of here as soon as everyone else has been replaced because you're gonna have decent stats by the time we get there. But you're definitely out of here at some point. Ow. Ouchie. Kind of hoping I could have killed him in one hit. I don't think it would have mattered anyway. Okay, that was a Stanker McGee. One win and no lives left. We're gonna roll it back. And this time we're gonna collect all the luck. I think I've had a pretty decent number of wins recently speaking, so it was only due. I would love to give you a bus next turn. I also like the idea of a bunch of health. Today we will be some cliche drivers. These drivers doing the most basic ass stuff. They'd be like stopping at stoplights, 
They'd be like turning right, even if it's not their right of way. So basic when you could just be like drifting down a track full of people and killing everyone on both directions. Hmm? Does the prisoner aspect not seem more cool than like just normal driving down the street? Thick Beaver likes the ants. He told me only yesterday and he's kind of embarrassed about it. Especially because he likes two different peoples. And some people would say, well, it's kind of rude of you to like a pair of twins equally because they're different people. They're not the same. And he would say, but I just like them for their looks. And you would say that's kind of superficial. And he would say, come on now. Why do we have dating apps? It's because people are superficial. Until I get to know more of them, the only thing I can base it off is their looks. So if I like them for their looks, can you really wrong me for it? Level it. Dolphin. I like a spider more than a ladybug. Sadly, I don't have enough money to sell and buy. That was a beautiful song. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. Until right now. All right, continue with the compause. All right, hold it again. We're saving it until we get a 10 piece. I'm gonna save all the applause so gosh darn hard that when we get a 10 piece, it will erupt in noise so strong that it will break through the ceiling fan. And the elephant who is carrying around our daffodil will finally know that we exist. No. We could level, or we could just get rid of that. Actually, much easier. Goodbye. Yes. Mm, save for next turn and eat a cupcake. One chubby bird on delivery. Would you like to enjoy? Mm, that uh, enemy has a surprisingly small number of predators. Which is good for us. What do you do? Mm, I hate that. Mm. Mm. I'm so glad our dolphin had more than one health there, and we actually won. I could have sworn that thing was going to spit out something with more health than that. Yes. No. And yes. And no. But yes. Ugh, god dang it. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Okay, the tier fours are not- it's not a, an amazing bunch this week. I will take all of these things. A lot less in terms of run definers. Run definers could be, you know, like bison, hippo, caterpillar, falcon, mantis. There are a lot of tier fours that really drive you, and this one is not having it. A buffalo? That's a tier four still, right? Pretty good. I haven't seen it in a while. Get those trumpets out of my face. Ooh, I wish that you had fought the guy before the one who just died. Okay, I'm actually kind of proud of you, Beaver. You definitely got further than I expected in that little round. Yes. Yes. Happy birth. I wish you could level, but I have no way to keep you alive, so I think you're going to scale. He is the only reason I ever buy a potato. Manatee plus potato validates the existence of potato a little bit. But I still think the potato is kind of stinky, such that you wouldn't buy it. All it does is, like, stop you from getting sniped. What was it, like, twice? You know what else does that? A melon. A melon also stops you from dying to a snipe, so it's kind of like we already had that. Hmm. I like this more than anything else. A turtle? Hmm. I could get rid of you, but you're kind of helping my link, so I should get rid of this. You should get the lynx, because the lynx is definitely the most best thing we have here. So I can get rid of you for a turtle. And you should turtleize this man, and you should get in the back. And you can still have that, so somebody should get a garlic. I guess it's the turtle. Okay, really weird squad. We're running double snipes. It does appear that I wasted my money in uh, buying the second manatee. He's going to get hella dead before he levels. Even if he does level, he would still be hella dead. Those snipers hurt, and I'm crying. Oh, hey, a draw! Better than I assumed. Better than anyone ever expected. A B, yes, but also no. It's too late to give you health, it wouldn't do anything. Yes! Thank you, good sir. Oh, the man everyone has been talking about. Yes! Eight trumpets, I will in I will attempt to get you to be good. I will put effort in there. I will take the ball of effort that exists inside of my meaty fingers, and I will shove it down your throat. That is how much effort I'm gonna put into this. What is your name? Nyala. That sounds like the lion from Lion King. Cute. 
Wait, why did my melon go to you? Did I do that? Did I put someone there that was supposed to be there? Hey! He forgot to put the bee on his hedgehog. I didn't melon you on purpose, did I? Okay, no, they must have killed my lynx. That's fine. I didn't care much for my lynx anyway. You are outclassing the lion. Sorry, lion. Hey, we did it! Okay, 16 trumpets. Not too shabby. One copy of a random friendly pet, except other tabers. If you happen to get him, that'd be kind of cool. You know what? We have two different units that it would be like totally fine for you to level a copy of. Maybe we'll just do that. You know, like get right here. Kind of saucy. Interesting. If you happen to summon him or him, it won't do anything, but... Then we're not really running... You know, I'm not gonna give you a meat. We're gonna roll. I'd rather roll three times than buy a meat. I rolled past that shark. Spend up to 10 trumpets to deal triple to one random enemy. Spend 10 trumpets, deal 30 damage to a random enemy. This, the inclusion of the Nyala that I have, especially at level 2, this might be the only time, the only instance in which I would actually consider using that shark because I don't really run trumpet builds, like especially in the weekly where you see trumpets, there's only like one or two animals who give them. If it comes back, I would replace the taper with it. I don't know if if him shooting some guy once is actually better than that guy just existing. Especially because if he just happens to shoot a guy who only has one health on the back of the team to begin with, it's like, okay, I would have preferred like the 10-10 stats on the dog still. Mm. Mm. Are you better than you? No, we, we don't have any, well, we don't have like a lot of summons. So this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Sewage stop. How is that cardboard box still existing inside of that sewage? Ooh, this is a spooky team, isn't it? Mmm. Okay. Okay. How about a second lynx? Does that spook you? Is that... Oh, okay. Do I still get the dog? Ooh, that was really close to being cool. That dog was really close to actually doing something. And you know what's the funkiest thing in town? Something that I've been very excited for. I don't really care about you leveling, but I have no one else to give this chocolate to. Okay, I'll hold it for one second. Yes? Okay, fine. Well... No, yes. I was like, I could level three you, but no. Next turn, you're level three. Okay, if I live, I have to live. I have three health. This weekend. This weekend's, ladies and gentlemen, I am receiving... A new kitten! I've been waiting for so long and it's so cute. I'm getting a ragdoll kitten. Her name is Jester. I have been attempting to think of a name to name her for approximately two or three months now at this point. And I like naming things so much that I had this huge list and I kept choosing something and then the next day being like, no, that's not exactly what I'm going for. And then I would choose a different one, and then I was like, in the next day, no, wait, I think I can do better than that. And it was a whole loop of, of shenanigan. I finally decided her name is going to be Jester. I feel like some people won't think that is nearly as cute as I do, but I love carnivals and clowns and like those sort of aesthetics, so I really wanted something to do with clowns, and it is honestly the most feminine, graceful sounding name I could think of related to clowns. A lot of the other ones I feel like would have worked as kind of like a really silly name, but I wanted it to be kind of cute still. So Jester, the beautiful ragdoll, will be coming to me on Sunday. I'm going to love her. She's going to receive all of my expendable income. And she's going to be hella on my Twitter, so look out for that. <laughs> she's going to be the cutest cat in town. Yes? Uh, I guess you're still going to the dolphin? And I would still like to get rid of you. Stop giving me more. Well, actually, if, if I do level you and you happen to do this guy, that's going to be a thick dog. I could just- I could just run two links. I'm actually thinking that's just superior to having that guy come back, even if it's like a melon. Like, not even that cool. Two links. What is it? Three? Two? 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 That's a lot of damage. You didn't all shoot the same guy just then, did you? Ha! No! <laughs> no! Well, um, he was gonna do that anyway, that's fine. Okay, that melon is not super useful, but actually, was it quite useful? get killed? No! No! What? No! What unlucky plays. Well, kind of lucky because I think some of that actually went my way and unlucky and some of it didn't go my way. 
Stop giving me tapers. Oh my god. I mean, if I have to, but something else, please. Wish cash? He doesn't do shite. Am I gonna put a taper on there? I mean, this guy's not getting that many hits. Unless I put him in the back. He'd probably get to use his ability once. Is that more worth than this guy? Copy one level one copy of a random friendly pet. This reminds me of, um, in the Pokemon official league of, like, for com competitive playing and stuff. There is one, I remember there's one move that allows you to, like, copy a move from one other person randomly on your team. And it was an entire strategy where you would fill your team entirely with, like, no Pokemon that could do anything. And then one that had the move so that everyone else on the team could copy that one move, like, non-randomly. Every time. Man, it's a steady team. And it's so cheesy because it's like devoting your entire team to get one amazing move consistently by like, by faking out the random aspect of it. This guy can't copy other tapers. Which means if I had a team composed entirely of tapers and like one Nyala or something that like does something really cool on faint, they would all guarantee to copy the Nyala and then you would have no, it wouldn't be very good, would it, right? Because the trumpets don't- you can't summon two dogs if you go overboard on the trumpets. So I guess you'd want to have one Nyala, a bunch of tapers, and one guy who does something awesome with it. Kind of like that shark that does, like, super damage based off how many trumpets you have. But then half of your like, your tapers could also just copy him. Kind of ruins it. Okay, everything is falling to pieces. No longer listening to the suggestion I was having. Not nearly as cool as I thought it was before I started talking about it. Here you go. I... In terms of hopes, I'm not very high. Maybe later, it's a bit early in the day. <laughs> get shanked, son? Nope, I'm gonna get shanked. I simply think I did not scale. Because I, I just didn't. I actually made literally no attempt to be scaling. All I did was try to level this taper. Ooh, ouchie. Mmm, death? Mmm, that's what I thought. Okay, well. A little bit of a shorter one. Because we hella died. Which is lame, because I feel like I was doing hot business, and all of a sudden it was like, boom. Failure of a weekly, and I was like, well, if you insist. But anyway, everyone look forward to Jester. Probably gonna be talking more about her, because she's the cutest thing. I love her. And she's not even here yet. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.